these are the tools. It started out with the fly swatter because it was very soft, but it's an old plastic, so it was brittle. So then we went to this little crop, and this is nice. It, because it reaches out and you can catch him when he's not looking. And he won't associate the distraction with you. The spray bottle. All these tools are usually used without the dog being able to connect their use to you. In other words, if you're gonna tap them with the crop on his butt, you wanna do it so he's facing away from you. Maybe one of his focus is on some kind of a uh, foreign object. I'll tell you about what he did just a few seconds ago. He stood by the door on the mat, looking out for maybe five, eight seconds. And then he jumped over, ran around the grill to his bathroom spot, did his number one, jumped right out and came back in the house. I followed him out there. I wish I had my camera. They're talking to each other. This is Okay, that's enough. Good boy. Thank you very much. That was a lecture from Colt to the little one. When the little one was over here, squawking at the big one, and the big, the big one said something to him. That's Colt. And then the little one ran to this bed. You gotta stay up. You're such a good boy.
we don't use collars. The only time is when we put them on a lead. That you saw the lead there in the tools. It's just a slip lead made out of rolled leather. And I love it because it's quite gentle. Uh-oh. Somebody figured out how to open the gate. You little punk! All right, come on back. Colt. Out. Snake cage. Good boy. You're good boys. Another lecture from Colt to the little one. You're a good boy, Colt. He's just telling him to settle down. I don't intervene unless Colt's not around. <laughs> You're a good boy. See, he's telling him. He's telling him to behave. I don't have to intervene. He's doing a great job. <laughs> you are a good boy. See the little one. He's gonna he's gonna get a couple of those, and uh, his level of respect of the big dog will go up tremendously. This dog has really settled down in the last two days. I mean. He used to be, well, here. I don't know if you can see that. He was just uh, like a piranha, holding a piranha by the tail. And it's swinging around to get you. All right, get out of there, I said. The big one minds well. Thank you. Thank you. You stay out of there. Go on. Go up in your bed in the, uh, come here. Go up on the doghouse. Say, hey, you're a good boy. See, I'm gonna intervene because the little one's taking his frustration out. By gnawing on that. No, we won't have that. You see how much my uh, being aloof has helped the dogs communicate with each other better. See, I don't want to interview.
I made this doghouse open air and raised it up off the ground so that the spiders are less frequent visitors and it's worked out pretty good. We have a big black widow population around here. You little punk. Colt, get over here. I told you, get over here. Come on, I don't want him out there. You stop it. Get out of here. Go on. That's better. Goosel, here. Where's the water? Goosel, where's the water? Come on. Let's find the water. Hey, over here. Where's the water? Uh-oh, what'd you do? You got a little shaky. Get out of there. You go on. Go on. All right, go in the doghouse. Colt, doghouse. <laughs> Colt, doghouse. I said doghouse. Get over here. Thank you. Leave it. Ow, ow, ow. This is <laughs> That's enough. That's enough, I said. I'll leave it. Leave it.
he helps keep the cobwebs low too. I should probably spray some spider spray back in there. See, this is my style of dog training is where I hardly have to intervene at all. I can just enjoy the show because this young dog is learning more gentleman-like behavior from the big dog. And I hardly have to intervene. Leave it. Leave it, I said. Gusso, here. Look at how good you are. Look at what a good boy. What a very good boy you are. What a very good boy. Yes, sir. Look at how good. Yes, look at how good. <laughs> I know, that's very good. So good. You are just a good little boy. Yes, you are. Leave it. You better leave it. Hey, do you want to get some water? Hey, over here, let's get some water. Come on.
Here, look, water over here. Come on, here. Hey, I called you. Here, go. Go so. Here. Colt, come here. Colt, I need you over here. Colt. I called you. Here. All right, somebody had to move. Let's try it this way. Let's get some water. That's better. Here. Good boy. Good job. There you go. That's what we wanted. You are something. Come here, come here, come here. Let's do this. Uh-oh. Come here. I know. Let's do it the right way. There. There. There you go. You wait. Good boy. Very nice. That you're getting something. Yes, sir. Oh, you're good. You are very good. That was all volunteered without any commands. Get out of here, Colt. That's better. You come around. Colt, come around. Good job. See how much more relaxed the dog is. He's much bigger, but he's much more relaxed and confident. You are good. You're very good. Can you sit? Can you sit? I said sit. He knows where the pocket is. It reminds me of the story of Uncle Mike. He would always have coins in his pocket, and we hardly ever saw him. But whenever we did see him, he'd give us money with, from the coins in his pocket. And so this dog exhibits the same traits all of us kids had when we were around Uncle Mike. Because we'd always watch to see when his hand was coming out of his pocket with a coin. You are good. You are so good. Yes, you are. Yeah, I know. You're very good. Colt, back up. Colt, back up. Good boy. You wait. Good job. Nice. That's very good. Down. Nice. Very good. Leave it. Leave it, Colt. Get out of here. 
you're causing turmoil. That's better. Get back here. Get back here, you little sneak. Get in your doghouse. Get in your doghouse. Colt, get in your doghouse. Get in there. You wait. There. Wait. Very good. Very nice. Get in that doghouse. Colt. Wait. I said wait. 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 I said, wait, you leave it. Get, you are in trouble, mister. Get in that dog house. You stay there. That's a good boy. You did very good. You did very good. That's the beginning of honoring other dogs' commands. Very good. You wait. Thank you. That's better. You sit. Sit. All right, that's better. That's enough. Simmer down. No, he jumped. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's enough bench. Come here. You're free. Here, I got this for you. Go so here. Go so here. This is for you. You deserve it. You did very good. You did very, very good. You're such a good boy. You are so good. Mr. Colt, I'm not happy. You wait. All right, that's better. He's getting his bathroom procedures down pretty well. Leave it. Leave it. Hey, I said leave it. One of the techniques toward providing leadership to the puppy from your own standpoint is you've you've got to maintain leadership and if you notice my posture is always not focused away from him I'm always 
facing him. My head doesn't really matter so much as the main part of my body. And then what that conveys to the other dogs is that I'm the one that's in control of them just by facing them. When I, I don't use very many words and phrases when I'm communicating with the dog. Mostly it's my, my body posture and my attitude with, along with some facial expressions. These made me use audible responses to the dog's interaction with me. Was, hell, you bit me, ouch. Just like a litter mate would do. And that's one of the things that he started out and he loves to do is to chew on stuff. And it made me resort to these type boots. Ow, oh, hey, now that's enough. That's silly. That's that's bad news. You don't do that. No, I just want to distract him from doing that. And so all I'll do is just tap him. You better leave it. That was his frustration at having to comply with a command, which was leave it. Leave it just means ignore whatever you were doing. And it can apply to anything. We don't use the word no. We use leave it, and it's a much more broad command. So anytime we tell the dog leave it, eventually he'll remember and then just not interact with what we said leave it for. He'll do that on his own. <laughs>